Hi guys, hope you're all keeping well. This is uh, Kids Fitness with Ken. So we're gonna go through uh, another little workout for you. It's a real simple one, about 10, 12 minutes long. We're gonna do a little stretch first and then we're gonna get into the workout. So I'll do the stretch now and then I'll explain the four exercises that we're gonna do as well. So uh, first off, the usual stretch we do in the running club, crossing the legs over, hands on your toes, and we're gonna rub down as far as we can go. Count the five when you're in this position. Three, two, and one, opposite side. Down you go, nice and gentle, never bounce into it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, then we're gonna go into our hamstring stretch. We always do it as well, locking the leg out, sitting the bum down onto a stool, imaginary stool, obviously. Bend forward into the stretch. Before we get up, pop your toe in the air before you. Four, three, two, one. Switch legs, same again, locking the leg out completely. Sitting down into it. Bend forward, and then before you get up, pop your toe in the air for five, four, three, two, one. Quad stretch. Always staring at a spot on the ground, maybe a spot on the wall. Try to get your balance right. Knees together and pushing your hips forward slightly. You'll feel it tightening all down the front of your quads. Three, two, and one. Opposite leg. Don't be afraid if you're a little bit wobbly as well. It's always good to work on your balance. Knees together, pushing your hips forward slightly, feeling the tightness down the front of the quad. Three, two, and one. Okay, so basically, we've got four exercises and we've got three rounds. So our first exercise is gonna be a squat kick. Your feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. You're gonna get down into the squat position. As you're coming up, I want you to kick out. Down again, and then you kick out on the opposite leg. We're gonna do 20 seconds of that, then we'll have a 20 second break. Then we're gonna get into a mountain climber. Mountain climber. Basically, you can just tap your feet like this for an easy version. If you're feeling fit and strong, give it a little bounce, get into a real mountain climber then. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of them. Then we're gonna get into a plank position. So for mountain climbers, we're gonna stay on the ground for this one. It's gonna be plank. This is gonna be a little bit of a tough workout for you, but if you feel tired, just drop your knees down, right? Okay, so the next one is the walkout, real simple. Standing down, walking out into a plank position, and back up, standing position. We're gonna do 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Right, so I'm just gonna get me a little time already. And we're gonna start off with our squat kicks, right? 20 seconds of them. So down, kick out, down, kick out, down, kick out. You'll hear me throughout the whole workout focusing on breathing. And break. Big deep breaths, these 20 seconds, a little rest in between each exercise, focus on your breathing. And next one, we're gonna be doing mountain climbers. I want to just show you, basically plank position, but we're gonna be tapping our feet forward. Ready? Let's go, 20 seconds, right? If you wanna do a more advanced one, you can just get a little bounce into it. If not, just continue doing the way you're tapping your feet. And rest. Same again, taking your deep breaths on board. Imagine, you have a balloon in your chest and on the intake you're trying to get as much air into that balloon as possible. The okay, next one's a plank. Right, getting ready. Plank position. Start taking deep breaths in the plank position as well. If you feel tired, don't be afraid to drop your knees for a couple of seconds. Take a couple of breaths and then back into your plank. And rest. Okay, couple of deep breaths. Right, our next one is the walkout. Real simple, so we need to have one round done. The walkout is bending down, walking out into a plank and back in, right? Just waiting for the buzzer to go off. Three, two, one, and go. Walking out, back in, stand up. If you're feeling like you have a little bit more energy, you can show a little jump at the end in. Watching your breathing throughout the whole exercise. And rest. Okay, round one is over. We're going into round two. 
Same again, we're going to be doing the squat kicks then. And then we're going through the whole workout two times, two more times, sorry. Right, getting ready for our squat kicks. Here we go. Off we go. 20 seconds. Concentrating on big breaths, right? I know the legs are gonna feel a little bit tired, but just stay with me. A couple of deep breaths. Two, and one. Excellent stuff, well done guys, right? Next one's our mountain climbers. Same again, we got the easy version and the hard version, right? Hit yourself into your position. We'll wait for the buzzer to go off. I'll tell you when to start, right? Right, up we go. Into a plank. And then we start tapping our feet forward. If you want it, you can do this variation as well. But it might be a little bit hard for you, so stick with the easy one for now. Three, two, and one. Couple of deep breaths. Up next, we have the plank, so we're gonna stay here for now. Concentrating on deep breathing throughout the whole exercise. Right, getting into our plank position before the buzzer goes off. Stay with me on this one, right? Get ready. In three, two, one, up we go. Concentrating on your breath. So just have to get me phone you now in front of me here. Hold our counters down for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Right back in there, feet. So we're going to be doing the walkouts next. Same again, bending down, walking out into the plank position, back in, and jump if you have to, right? Just keep an eye on the clock, right? We've what? Another 10 seconds and we're off. A couple of deep breaths before we start. Get ready. Three, two, one, and we go. I'll count you down from five. Stay with me, folks. In five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Right, last round and we're done. Great stuff, folks. As I say, always have your water nearby. Mine's just over here. I'm going to grab it real quick. As I said, your water you should be taking every day as much as possible. So, so important. Okay, in the squat kicks, 20 seconds, are we ready? Let's go. Big deep breathing throughout the workout. Always remember, the oxygen is energy for you. And three, two, and one. Right, rest up. Couple of deep breaths. Right, we're into our mountain climbers next. We're nearly finished guys, so stay with it. A couple of deep breaths before we get down into our position. Right, getting ready. In three, two, one, let's go. Right, count is down. A couple more seconds in five, four, three, two, and one. Take a breather. You'll notice, I always use the, the 20 seconds break in between each one. It's about concentrating on air. Right, in five more seconds, we're gonna get to the plank position for 20 seconds, right? Let's go. In three, two, one, that's it. Try keeping your body locked out as tight as you can. Squeeze everything, squeeze your core. And breathe through it. 10 seconds gone. I'm gonna count this down, stay with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent stuff, well done guys. Right, so we're down to our last exercise, and then we're finished, it's the walkout. Went to get a good sweat up there today. All right, couple more deep breaths. A 
In three or four seconds, he's ready. Off we go, 20 seconds. Ten seconds gone. I'm gonna start counting you down. You ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, everybody. That was a really tough workout. For anyone who stayed with me for the three rounds, excellent stuff. Well done. Take a couple of deep breaths on board and don't forget your water. And so I hope you're enjoying all the workouts. Can't wait to see us all out in the field and we start getting our running back in action. God bless everyone. See you soon.